This is a great question and one that I can only answer with my general mantra, which is test, 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 <laughs> test. You are looking at a lot of specific things that could be places where you have different factors and absolutely every one of those things is something that I would test. Even if I do have pretty good personas, oftentimes, again, we have our own biases. We come to the table and we think that our wording or our storytelling is the right way. Now, that might be informed by a lot of experience and you might be pretty close, but as you said, you could adjust the call to action, you could adjust the framing, you could adjust the color, you could adjust the layout of the page within the journey on your website or from your landing pages. In all of those cases, the only way we can figure out what actually works for our audience is to test. We have a hypothesis and we test it. We think that persona A would prefer messaging that is more focused on the uh, feature set of our product or service. Okay, that's a great idea, hypothesis for us to test. Let's run a couple of different pages that have different information about the feature set framed in different ways and let's see which one seems to get the best click-through rates that's really the only way we can get more detailed what i hear from a lot of small businesses is well we don't have the resources to get this information and the truth is i think that if you consider this a process that's ongoing, it's easier to get there, right? You don't have to do all of this testing in one month. If you commit to the idea that in the next 12 months, we're gonna run at least two experiments every month where we are changing these things out, over time, we're gonna get a lot of information pretty quickly about what are the specific tweaks that we can implement across all of our different media that produce better results. For instance, um, many, many years ago when I was still on the brand side, we had a list that was nearly a million uh, email subscribers, which is a really huge list. And it had a really great open rate. But what we found was by testing which day of the week we sent out the email, we actually were able to increase that open rate. And then once we had run quite a few experiments to get to that point and decided to change from, I think we changed from like a Sunday to a Friday or from a Friday to a Sunday, I don't remember. But once we made that change, then we were doing other experiments on how do we organize the content within? Do we put a product up front? Do we put it sort of in the middle? How do we get people to select um, those different products? Do we do better with a higher price product? Do we do better with a variety of products. And all of those different tweaks taught us over time. We elected to essentially do one or two experiments a week in that particular case, uh, because again, it was a larger list and we had the resources for it. But again, over time that accumulates pretty quickly.